looks like Christmas in the middle of March. <laughs> Honestly, I would pay $80 for these. I have been in such a mood this past couple days. Get it together, Monique. Good morning, sunshine. I would not expect this from a tinted moisturizer. Like, what in the world? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Monique and today's video is just gonna be a weekend vlog. I don't really have my weekend completely figured out yet, but I do have some fun things planned that I'm excited to show you in the vlog. I'm actually getting ready to go to Trader Joe's and I need to really stock up. So there will definitely be a healthy grocery haul and then also I recently got some new items from free people their activewear line so free people movement and I have been loving it and surprisingly I feel like their activewear is totally way more affordable than their actual clothing line so I have some good things to show you that I think you might like and I've also been really back on my workouts in my healthy living kick. I have been eating super clean and sticking to my meal plan so I kind of want to show you some healthy meal ideas in just what I've been doing. But other than that I do not really know what this weekend has in store for me so this will be a really fun vlog to watch. And I did just want to mention that I have been in such a mood this past couple days and the worst thing is is like I'm not even about to get my period. <laughs> I don't know about you guys but the week before I get my period I'm always like kind of down and I don't know not as much of myself and I think that it's safe to blame it on the hormones in that department but I actually just got off my cycle so I don't think it has anything to do with that and that sucks. So yeah, I've just been in a really kind of grumpy mood and I, I don't really even know what the root of it is or where it's stemming from. I'm just kind of feeling like everything is bothering me and I'm a lot more sensitive and irritable than normal. And to be honest, I kind of let it ruin my night last night and that sucks. That's never a good thing. So today I woke up and I decided I am not going to let myself be in a mood no matter how hard I have to try. Honestly, Honestly, just saying today's gonna be a good day and I'm setting the intention now. I also put a little bit more makeup on than normal, picked out a cute outfit that's comfy and that I feel good in so I am setting myself up in all the ways possible to have a great day and to let, not let this mood carry on throughout the whole entire weekend. Get it together, Monique. So this is just my outfit of the day. It is very comfortable, but I don't know. I feel good in it. So this is just my t-shirt that I got from Zara. I showed it in my Zara loungewear haul that I posted last week. These jeans are from Garage. They are like my favorite jeans because they are kind of mom jeans, but like they're looser down here. I think that they label them as mom jeans, but I don't really know that I would call them that because they are more fitted in the thigh. And I put on some gold hoops. I might throw on a few more necklaces and I will be good to go. Alright guys, I am switching over to voiceover to show you the Trader Joe's haul. So here is everything that we got, a little overview. And now I will just start listing everything off one by one. So the first thing that we got are these mini hold the cones. I am obsessed with these. We got three boxes because that's how much I love them. Also got some chicken wings, some smoked andouille chicken sausage, I love this stuff, riced cauliflower, pot stickers, and mini cilantro wontons, I love those in the air fryer. Also got some scallops and also some salmon and I am super excited to try that for dinner this week. Saw these crunchy cinnamon squares and had to try them. Also got a couple lemons some zucchini squash. Always like to go to Trader Joe's for their unique Trader Joe items. I'm about
about to go work out and I thought now would be a good time to show you the activewear that I've recently picked up from Free People. So this sports bra is super old. It's from Forever 21. And then these are new from Free People. I love them. They only come in like extra small, small, and then medium and large. And when you first buy them, you're kind of like, what the heck? How are these possibly going to fit me? They just slip right on on and the material is so soft and buttery and they just like suck everything in and are very compressive but not like too tight where you can't breathe they have like kind of some like little cutout detailing on the side the rib goes all the way around the back and then again down at the bottom and i don't know i just really like these a lot i had been wanting to try them for a long time and then i do have another pair that i want to show you as well see look at these when you take them off you're like what the heck there's <laughs> no way that these are gonna fit me but seriously they're so stretchy and they just slip right on on like they were made for you and then these are the next ones that i got i forgot what these ones are called but i will link them down below they're only 30 dollars which is very amazing for free people. I see so many girls wearing these on Instagram, so I really wanted to try them for myself. And I do think that the white would look better on me if I was tan right now. I am pretty pale, but I love these. I love how they are like tight right in here. I don't know, I just like my stuff tight right there when I'm working out. I like to feel like compressed. And they also have like a little pocket in the back and I don't know, I just really, really like these ones. And they do have like the underwear inside of them and normally the underwear bothers me with workout shorts, but for some reason they don't bother me with these ones. I highly recommend these, only $30 if you are into like this style workout short. They come in so many colors. I also got them in this green color, which is super fun for spring. They are dirty right now and they were in my hamper, that's why they're kind of wrinkly. And then I also got them in a black. I also got these ones a few months ago too, and I just figured why not show them in this haul, especially because I know that they have still have them in stock. These ones were $30 if I remember correctly, and they come in so many colors. And these are just like the first ones that I showed where they look so small, but you put them on and they just fit so nicely and they stretch and just like mold and sculpt to your body. What the heck, why don't I just put them on for you? All right, here are these ones. I think they're called like the Prajana, I do not know. I'm totally butchering that. I will link them. They come in so many colors. I really like them. I know that like biker shorts and like compressive shorts like this are totally in right now. And these ones are just so affordable and comfortable and like Honestly, I would pay $80 for these. That's how much I love them. I'm somebody that really likes to invest in my activewear because I want to like feel good during my workouts, but I also don't want to like break the bank either. I've just been very impressed with every single piece of activewear that I've bought from free people. So I just really wanted to include them in a video for you guys just to show you what I've been loving. <sighs> but it is 4.48 right now. I spent... A lot of my afternoon laying in bed relaxing watching the hills I have been obsessed with the hills lately and it's super funny to me because I think that when it first aired on MTV I was probably around like 10 or I don't know a young preteen and I thought it was so cool watching the hills I would try to follow along and I thought I knew everything about the show and now watching it I it's like a completely different storyline than I thought it was so I don't know it's just cool to like watch it back and actually understand what's going on and it's just funny to see like the fashion and the stuff that was in during the 2000s and like what is in now crazy how much the trends change but anyway, can you tell that I'm stalling on getting this workout in? I really need to get it in and then potentially go for a walk. Uh, I don't know. The night is still young. Good morning, sunshine. ready for the day. I am going to run some errands with my mom and then I have a lot 
to do today. Sundays are seriously the busiest days of the week for me and I get so much done but that's okay I love it because then I feel like I'm so prepped and ready for the week ahead. I wanted to show doing my makeup today just because yesterday I snagged this L'Oreal Paradise tinted moisturizer. I heard a lot of people raving about this and I'm really interested in trying it. I heard that it's super full coverage which is like not like a tinted moisturizer obviously and I don't know I just kind of wanted to try it out so it says it has 24 hour hydration and a luminous coverage I did buy it in the shade fair too just because I heard it runs kind of dark and I am pretty pale right now I honestly was debating between the lightest shade fair one and this one because the lightest one looked like it had a little more yellow undertones which I kind of tend to have but I was afraid that that one was going to be like way, way too light. Part of me just kind of wants to use my fingers, so I think I'm going to. It looks really nice so far. I mean, I barely rubbed it in, but... Mm. It honestly feels like I'm not wearing anything at all. Like, that's how lightweight it is. But I do feel like it's pretty full coverage, like they said. Wow, this is like very full coverage. But it honestly, I swear, it feels like I'm wearing nothing. Wow, I'm like really impressed right now. All right, I will give an update later on in the day and see how well it wears. But I'm just gonna do the rest of my makeup as normal and try to add a little color back into my skin. I honestly... <clears throat> my voice is cracking. I love L'Oreal's foundations. Like, they are my favorite foundations from the drugstore. Kind of going for a cream look today. I'm not going to use any powder products. I don't know. I always feel more youthful. <laughs> like, my skin looks more youthful when I do cream. All right. My makeup is finished for the day. Just kept it natural. And honestly, I am so impressed by this tinted moisturizer right now. I feel like my skin looks so dewy and glowy and like honestly kind of flawless and I would not expect this from a tinted moisturizer. Like what in the world? I'm almost like does my camera have a filter? It just like looks way too good. I think I had it on manual focus but I changed it to auto focus so now you can see better but like look how good it looks. I don't know, but let me know if you've tried this L'Oreal Paradise Tinted Moisturizer and if you have, what you have thought of it. Honestly, I use the one by Bare Minerals all the time. Like, that's my go-to tinted moisturizer. But this one might be my new one. I'm, like, blown away. Anyone else just love their cat so much, but their cat hates them? I think every cat owner understands what I'm talking about. Alright, I just got back to two new packages. One, I think, is my protein powder. So I thought it would be fun to unbox and show you what I got. So this is the protein powder that I use. Try to get the window out of there because it's so bright. But I have been using this protein powder for like over five years now and I'm not somebody that really takes that many supplements just because I like to get my nutrients from like real whole foods. But protein powder sometimes i do like to have a chocolate shake and normally when i make my protein shakes i just put a scoop of this with some almond milk a banana a little bit of peanut butter and call it a day uh, if i do not put these in this box then my cat is gonna like eat them this packaging is so cute so elias skin actually sent me some skincare products to try and I'm going to be doing a review on this in probably about a month or so so I'm really excited to try out these products. I've heard so many good things and the packaging is seriously so cute. I got a vitamin C serum, a facial scrub, Ooh, my cellar cleanser. I'm excited to try this moisturizer. Oh, 
oh my gosh, I hear so much about this pink clay mask. I am actually super excited to try this. I think I might have to have a little self-care night and start trying it out tonight. Oh my gosh, everything is so cute. It's like Christmas in the middle of March. <laughs> All right, I just sat down and I'm about to eat my dinner. It looks so good. I'm eating the salmon and scallops that I picked up from Trader Joe's yesterday. Also some grains. It's just like rice and quinoa. And then some asparagus. I washed my hair today. Today was hair washing day and I took my makeup off obviously but I did just want to give a little update on that L'Oreal Paradise Moisturizer because I am so impressed with it. I wore it for about like five or so hours today and it honestly felt just like my skin and I didn't even feel like I was wearing makeup at all. It definitely felt like a moisturizer but it looked like I was wearing it. I just think it looked so pretty and I am like very, very, very impressed. I think I'm going to buy it in like a darker shade so that I can also wear that when I am using the tanning drops so that I can wear it every day because I am like really, really loving it. So if you're looking for a drugstore tinted moisturizer, I definitely recommend so far. But other than that, I think that I'm going to end the vlog here. I am so excited to eat my dinner and I'm probably just gonna start editing this vlog and just chill and probably watch some more of the hills. Thank you so so much for watching this vlog. I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!